One of the best ways to teach kids about healthy eating is to actually get them involved in the cooking. We're here at Daniel Boone School District today with Jamie Lederman, a kindergarten teacher in the school district. And Jamie, who do we have with us today? Olivia and Cole, two second grade students. Now these are second grade students who are in your after school cooking class, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a volunteer class? Yes. And you have about how many kids? Forty. Forty kids, okay. And this is grant funded by the Pottstown Area Health and Wellness Foundation. Mm -hmm. And do, have you had fun in the class, Olivia? Yeah. Yeah? How about you, Cole? Yeah. What have you learned to cook so far? Fruit smoothie. Fruit smoothie? And Olivia, what have you done? A ham and cheese pretzel whips. A ham and cheese pretzel whips. That sounds pretty good. Why do you think it's so important, Jamie, to teach kids at an early age about cooking? When you get kids involved in cooking, they are much more willing to try new foods. They're very interested in learning about healthy eating. So if parents involve them, they'll be, I think, surprised with the results. So these messages, it's important to start early with them. Absolutely. Yeah. What are some tips, some general tips that you can give parents for getting kids involved in cooking? Where do you begin? Um, I think a good start is going to a library or bookstore and getting a kid-friendly cookbook. That, that's a nice way to begin. And then, of course, get them dressed in the right attire. Olivia and Cole are both wearing aprons that they decorated. Very nice. I like the aprons. So <laughs> they're ready to cook. Great. How, how about, how about um, rules for the kitchen? It's important to, to go over general rules with children. Absolutely. Um, everybody knows the, the ability level of their child. It's important to lay down the rules of the kitchen so everybody's safe and it makes everything a lot more fun. And obviously there's some things that you wouldn't want to do, like give a child a very sharp knife or, or things like that. Yes. You, you say kids love gadgets. Absolutely. And we have some today we're going to actually show people how to use. So what are we going to cook today, guys? Fruit Sunday cones. Fruit Sunday cones. That sounds wonderful. Well, show us what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to have... Olivia, I'm going to bring you these grapes, and you're going to take the vine off the grapes. And I have a bowl over here to put all our trash in, so that makes it really easy for us. A garbage bowl. That's a great idea. And Cole, you can take the grapes off the vines. Super. And then I will take care of the strawberries. Okay. So we're going to need grapes and strawberries, green grapes, purple grapes. And we're going to put this recipe on our website, which is www.pottstownfoundation.org. So everybody can check there for the recipe. And also, Jamie, you gave us some great tips for, for parents for getting kids involved in the kitchen. And we're going to put a list of those on the website as well, so everybody can refer to those. Great. Okay. You're making quick order of those, guys. I'm impressed. Olivia, I think you're... you're uh, Winning the contest here, the great peeling contest. Excellent. Now, how long would something like this normally take? Five minutes. If Five everybody minutes. works together, okay. it's very well, I'm easy. I'm going to chip in and help with the strawberries while we're doing this. Do we have another knife here that Quite I can on. use? Okay. And, Jamie, while we're doing this, what are some other suggestions for, for parents when they're cooking with kids? Well, you, you mentioned the gadgets. I think gadgets are a great alternative for a knife. Um, I, have, I have a blender, and that will be used instead of a knife today for the kids. And we have an apple core slicer and peeler, which the kids have a lot of fun with that as well. Great. Cooking can actually be educational as well. Um, because you're learning about measurements, you're, so there's some math involved, you're learning how to read the recipe. Okay, in the interest of time, let's make do with these, and what's our next step? Um, to peel an apple. the apple. Okay, I'm going to do this. This is the fun gadget. Let's see if we can figure this out. We want to stick this right on here, and we're going to go through here. Hmm. I don't know how well I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Clearly, this is not my strength, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make do with that for now. What else do we have? We'll add the, the pineapple. I'll okay. have Olivia add the pineapple. All right. And you can just add all of it, Olivia. 
and our bowl is getting very colorful. Okay. Olivia yes. said it was like we had the rainbow, which We're is great. We're eating the rainbow. We all know it's important to do that. Super. You can feel a clementine. Okay. And Olivia, you can feel. Now, normally, we would have peeled this apple. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the great thing about this recipe is that you can put any fruits into it. And I'm going to slice some strawberries. So we're going to slice these up. And this is nice because there's lots of hands-on activities for the kids. What are we going to do with all of these different, um, all these different items when we have them? Are they all going into the cones? All of the fruits are going into the cones. Great. Okay. How are you guys making out there with the oranges? Clementines. Super. Well, you're doing that. Um, you, you say it's also important to try new things with kids. Absolutely. Sometimes they're a little bit reluctant, um, but I tell them to just try a little bit. I think it's really important to encourage children to try new things because sometimes it takes more than once to, to acquire a taste. This does look quite colorful. We have quite a nice bowl full of fruit salad here. Okay. okay, what else do we need to do? We have about a minute left. We are going to spoon it into the cones. Okay. And I'll go. give one to you. Do I get to be the spooner? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. All right. This is looking delicious. Here we go, guys. We spoon them in here. These are easy to make. Cole, mm -hmm. let's let's get one of your cones filled. Here we go. Okay. And after we get this all in here, sprinkle the top with coconuts. Excellent. All right. So I'll get the coconut. Here we go. Let's see if we can reach that. And you could put any variety of fruits in here as well. Yes. Okay. Certainly a nice alternative to ice cream. In the in the cone. Guys, is this something you would like to eat? Yeah. Yeah, would this be fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks delicious. Are you gonna share some of that? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, great. And you could put cherries on top or, or any number of things. That's it's a, a fun treat. There, there's so many things that you can do with kids in the kitchen, and it really is important to teach them early so that they can be encouraged to, to cook themselves. Yeah, I think it's very important to show that eating healthy is a family commitment and by involving children in cooking you're showing them that you're in this together to live a healthy lifestyle. Great. You can really teach them a lot of, a lot of important things along the way. That's super. Cole and Olivia and Jamie, thank you so much. And everybody, be sure to visit our website for recipes and tips. It's www.pottstownfoundation.org.